Now to run a MySQL query, we need to use the MySQL I underscore query function. And this is going to take two parameters. It's going to take the database connection script and the query itself. So we want to first give it the database connection, so DBC, and then in quotes, we're going to write out the query. So we're going to go ahead and query the videos table. So if you remember from the first part of this series, this is pretty much the simplest query you can run. We're going to select all records and all columns from the videos table. Now if we want to get specific, let's take a look at that table. And we'll go ahead and pick ID number two. So continue here, where ID is equal to two. Now, before we can retrieve this data, we need to go ahead and store the result of the query into a variable. So we'll just call that result equals MySQL query. And there you go. So now you've run your first query. We save this and upload it. We can test it. And uh, I got an error here. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with my series, oftentimes I do leave errors in just to help with troubleshooting. Now, what I did was I forgot to take off the dot dot slash here on the connect script for when I was explaining how to link back a directory. So because we're running this in the same folder, we want to keep it here. So let's go ahead and save and upload again. Refresh. And there you go, blank page. And that's what we wanted. However, we really don't know for sure if this query has run or not. So let's go ahead and just do a little bit of error handling here. So let's go ahead and we'll just run a quick if statement. Say if result echo And there you go. So if there's no value to result, so if the function here did not return anything, it will run this echo statement that the query did not run. However, if there is a result and result does not empty, it will tell us that the query has run. So I'll go ahead and save and refresh. There you go, query ran. Now, I'm sure that's not what you came here to learn. So let's go ahead and do the fun part, and that is retrieve some data.